Family and friends gathered to remember the life of 16-year-old Michael Ellis this afternoon. The Brunswick High School football player was shot and killed in front of his home earlier this month. Police are still looking for a 21-year-old suspect. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock shares how the community is choosing to remember the 16-year-old. Michael Ellis was young, but he touched so many lives. People who spoke about him here at his homegoing service say he was someone who leaves behind a legacy, one that includes a loving heart and someone who was hardworking. Music filled the Brunswick High School gym a Sunday afternoon. As hundreds of family and friends gathered to remember the life of 16-year-old Michael Ellis. I have been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? But this is something that I ain't never, ever experienced. Like Nate Angry coached Ellis when he was just a child. He says knowing the 16-year-old is gone is something he's finding hard to believe. It's a feeling Toy Smallwood is also dealing with. It's a fun-loving kid, uh, had a smile that light up a room, and he was just fun to be around. The smile that would light up a room stopped showing up in those rooms earlier this month. That's when the Brunswick High School football player was shot and killed in front of his home. His family and police say they don't believe he was the intended target of that shooting. It's an incident loved ones say took their shining star too soon. Loved ones also say the athlete had dreams of one day being a professional football player. That's why he worked so hard at football and uh, trying to be better himself every day. Um, to see what he could do to get better so he can make sure when it's that time. His love for football is so strong, a family member read this poem about his passion during his service. Just imagine him walking into a big arena, signing an autograph, and being escorted by protection. Loved ones say he was an innocent child filled with love, a wonderful teammate, and someone who always looked out for others. And one reverend during the service said, Today's a day of mourning, a day of sadness, but also a day to realize that Ellis is looking down on everyone from heaven. In Brunswick, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.